guys welcome back to another vlog <sighs> I literally just got out of a workout and I'm so tired I went to soul cycle for the first time in the longest time I went in 2021 because my favorite instructor Sarah it was her last class teaching in Boston before she moved so I went to her class because I was like I just have to go because it's her last class obviously and before that I think that the last time like I actually went was during 2020 in like 2019 like before COVID because Soul Cycle closed for a while and then they had like outdoor classes for a while like I never really went to any of those I went to like I think one of them but I hadn't like been in the studio and like went to a class in so long and if you've been watching my videos for a while like you would know that I used to go to Soul Cycle like three times a week I was obsessed with it in 2019 and it just like made me I don't know I just feel like so weird that I just went I don't know why it's like making me emotional but I guess like well there was a full moon last night and I was reflecting a lot I did a Q&A on my Instagram story and I got a question what my favorite era was and I said that I really liked 2019 just because I feel like there was so much less less pressure and like keeping up with the trends and I just feel like social media and just like life in general was like more pure and it was like the time obviously before COVID happened and then before um, TikTok, which came out like right before the pandemic. And I really feel like TikTok changed social media. And I don't know, sorry, my heart like hurts also from that class. I haven't like done a really high intensity workout like that in a really long time. And I feel like I can't even hear out of my ears. It's like the weirdest thing, but it felt so good and I don't know I feel like people always say like low intensity workouts are what's gonna be like best for your body and stuff like that but like I like high intensity workouts so I don't even know I feel like there's just so much on the internet now nowadays with like what you should and shouldn't do it's like an overload and what I was saying before about like social media and just like life being different I feel like back before COVID and before TikTok like I feel like people were just more like themselves and me included I just feel like I had like no care in the world I was just like so myself and so authentic and nowadays it's just like everyone's trying to keep up with like the trends and like getting the newest thing and the popular makeup and everyone wears the same thing like I don't know I'm guilty of it too but it's just like something that I've been thinking about a lot and I just wanted to quickly say because I've just been reflecting and I don't know. I just hope that things like slowly start to go back to the way That it used to Maybe I'm just all in my head about this and It's really not that big of a deal and maybe nobody else thinks <laughs> the same way that I do But that's just something that has been on my mind. But anyway, I need to go home and shower I'm like so sweaty and just like tired <laughs> that like took so much out of me But it feels good to have a workout done for the day and be able to just like go home now and like get a bunch of stuff done i got a little cappuccino which i just finished and i got a sandwich from greystone the caprizi and i am so excited greystone has the best sandwiches in boston so good also you guys when i was leaving the parking garage you will never believe what happened like i don't know what it is with this car and parking garages but something has happened to me three times now in a parking garage like something always happens to my car and it's always in a parking garage over the summer Graydon and I were leaving a parking garage and we were driving through like um where you like pay to open up the thing the gate and I've explained this story before but if you haven't heard it I'm just gonna make it brief like there was a line of cars we were like the third car in line and the gate wouldn't open so it was broken and the guy that worked in the parking garage came over and he opened it up and the first car starts driving through the second car start, starts driving through and Graydon looks at me and he goes it's broken just go and so I'm going and all of a sudden the thing starts coming down on my car and instead of like stopping and letting it like hit the hood of my car I just like went thinking it was gonna like open up shattered my whole entire windshield and then couldn't get that fixed for like months because the windshield like piece of glass was on like back order or something there was like a problem with the supply chain and then 
right around New Year's, the little antenna on the top of my car, I was in another parking garage and my car is like so tall that a pipe was like really, really like hanging down really low and I was driving under and it took off the antenna on the top of my car, which it's like one of the things that looks like a little fin and it like completely cracked and the same thing happened to my friend Joey he was in the same parking garage as me and like it probably was the same exact area he has the same car and the same thing happened to him where the thing got taken off and I had to get that fixed and it ended up costing like $1,500 or something just to get that fixed and then I'm in the parking garage today going to leave and there was like a cement thing on the side and I went to back out and I like turned my wheel and all of a sudden I heard something and I was like no not again like I thought my it crunched my car and I got out and it's just like took the paint off and scratched it in the front but I'm like can I catch a break I can I catch a break with this car and of course nothing happened to my last car that I had and I even like at my old apartment not the one that I used to live up but the one before that I had parked in a garage like we had a garage underneath the apartment building and my spot had two cement poles that I would have to back into my spot on either side there were cement poles nothing ever happened to that car I never hit one once anything like that and then of course this car like has three things and I have had it for literally like just a year we just hit a year <laughs> So it's just crazy, but all of them have been my fault and all of them have had to do with parking garages. So it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm so excited to go take a shower. I just opened up a box. Lux Unfiltered sent me their new conditioning body cream. They have a new scent, Blood Orange, and I'm so excited to try it. I'm obsessed with their self-tanner. I'm going to probably self-tan later tonight with their mousse. I also love their gradual tanning lotion. They just have really amazing products. But I'm so excited to try this. I really love their lotion. And I'll let you guys know the scent when we go upstairs and take a shower. I've been following the owner of the company, Sivan Ayla on Instagram for years. Like before I even did YouTube and... It's just so cool to see, I don't know, just like the evolution of her content and also just like the brands that she's created. Guys, this smells so good. Yum, yummy. Wait, this is a lotion, right? Yeah, body cream. I thought it was gonna be self tanner and I was gonna have like a random spot, but look, it like makes your skin so soft and shiny. And then we also got a few Amazon packages, which I think I just got, like, <laughs> Max is literally sniffing me. Baby, why you sniff me? And then I just got a few Amazon packages. I still need to get my sauna set up, which has been sitting in the living room Ooh, for days, weeks. Also, I don't know where my scissors went or my box cutter, but we're using a... Um, what's it called? Screwdriver to open up packages. Ooh, I just kind of like went crazy on Amazon because I've been in like a big organization mood lately. And I'm just like, you know what? I need to just like get my stuff all organized and get it together. But I got this really cool thing for drinks, which I'm gonna set up. It's like a thing where you can like stock your drinks in your fridge, <laughs> which I don't know, it sounds like so unnecessary, which it probably is, but we have so many drinks in the fridge, like um, Olipop, coconut water. I was like, I wanna set this up. Hopefully this fits. Because it looks like it would be very, it looks like it's going to be very deep. I'm like, oh, see if I turn this. And then I got some of these glass bottles, which I used to have. And I don't know what happened to them. But I love these for, like, juices, 
and even like to put water in and then do like mint ginger lemon like keep them in the fridge and they're just nice to like grab and go love a glass container so i'm excited about these and then i think the last thing that i got is just part of that's valentine's day present which i think it is but i'm not going to show that just because well I don't know. I just don't want to show it before Valentine's Day is over, even though I don't. I know that he's not going to see this. But you never know. I can't even open this. You never know. Okay, yeah, it is part of his Valentine's Day gift. Cool. Okay, well, that's all I have for you guys. I'm going to eat my sandwich and go take a shower. I have a little call right now with my manager and emma for our podcast and i'm really excited because we're going to be talking about season two of our podcast if you are new here emma and i have a podcast it's called love you bye and you can listen on all platforms and we just finished up season one and an episode launches launches an episode goes live every tuesday and by the time you guys see this video I think episode 11 will be out in our last episode of the season episode 12 is with our mom which has been like a highly requested like guest to have on the podcast on our youtube videos so i'm really excited for that episode because it just felt so like i don't know it just felt so real and it just made me so happy to have my mom on the podcast we talked about like so many different things we did like a really long q a so i'm excited for you guys to hear about that or to listen but I am waiting on the call right now, or waiting for the invite to the call. We're gonna do a little Google Meet and just talk everything like season two and stuff like that. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, I'm excited for you to come this week. I know, I'm so excited. Wait, I was looking at the weather. Is it going to be nice? Yeah. Morning, you guys. Continuing off the vlog because I don't even remember the last thing I vlogged yesterday. And I think I was on my call and then Mac got back and we got dinner. And then we just like hung out and watched the show. So I didn't vlog anything. But good morning. I just got ready for my workout. I just put on one of this. This <laughs> one of this. I just put on this aloe. Long sleeve, Lululemon lines. I'm going to Pilates today, and I'm very excited. Emma's bringing me to her class, and I haven't tried it before, the places she goes to. So I'm really excited to go, and um, that's what's up. We have a plumber coming to the house today because the garbage disposal in the sink like stopped working. <laughs> I don't know why, and I don't know why because I don't put anything like crazy down the garbage disposal i used to be so bad about it like when i first got one <laughs> like i literally put everything down it this is like years ago and i would throw like a ton of stuff and i just like don't do that anymore and so it's not like i'm putting anything down there that like wouldn't that would like break it so i don't know i'm just very confused but hopefully they'll be able to figure it out today because i don't know also i have no bananas i really wanted to have a banana this morning before pilates but i have no bananas and i'm not really in the mood to have anything like really heavy or anything like big because i feel like i literally just woke up so i don't know i take these probiotics by ritual and you can take them on an empty stomach which i really like and they taste like mint but all I wish that I had was a banana. I've been like on a banana kick lately. <laughs> like just loving them. Especially like before my workouts. I just feel like they give me like a lot of energy in my workout. So yeah. It's a beautiful day. It's sunny. I don't know what the weather is. If it's like cold or what whatnot. But it's very, very sunny. There's like no clouds. Okay, so I'm
the rest of my day yesterday after Pilates Emma and I we went to the mall and she got something for her boyfriend and then I went home showered and uh, I didn't vlog I was supposed to vlog and like cook dinner and everything because Mac and I went to Whole Foods and I got a bunch of food to cook dinner and then I turned on my oven and it like started to smell like gas and I got like really freaked out so I just like didn't end up cooking and um, ended up going and just getting a burger from Lola Burger. So here we are now, the next day. It's 10 o'clock, I just got out of my workout. I worked out with my trainer, Mike, and okay, also, <laughs> I need to wipe down my, there's like an area on my car that has like, ooh, I like put my feet up when I sit in the passenger seat and it like gets the whole entire like other side like dirty and it's really disgusting. I don't know why I do that. And then I'm driving and I look over and I'm like, who put their feet up on my car? And I'm like, wait, that was me <laughs> in my own car. Uh, but anyway, I'm so glad that I just got out of a workout and it's like so early and I got up, just went, got it done and now I can go home and shower and like start my work for the day and I just got a coffee from blue bottle today it was a blue bottle day and we got a cappuccino with whole milk I've just been like obsessed with cappuccinos and I just get regular milk in it because I just feel like it makes it taste so much better <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, I put on self tanner last night. Also, I haven't showered yet, but it like makes my hands look crazy. I like haven't mastered the hand self tanner yet. And um, yeah, but we're gonna go home. I need to eat something. I like really have been trying not to have coffee on an empty stomach. I didn't have time to eat anything this morning before I left. And my bananas that I got yesterday weren't ripe enough. So I'm going to go home and make some food. And um, yeah. I don't know how I forgot to vlog this, but I did this yesterday after I came home from the workout. I totally forgot to show you guys, but I organized the fridge because I ordered a bunch of drinks on Amazon. I got some Mountain Valley waters, and then I got some coconut water. I also got Olipop root beer in vintage cola. I got like a bulk pack because I usually just buy them from Whole Foods like individually, and they're like four bucks. And I don't know how much they are, but they're like a few dollars individually. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy them on Amazon in bulk. So that's what I did, and then I got this little drink thing off of Amazon and organized the fridge, I just opened it up and it literally surprised me because <laughs> I was like, whoa, I like forgot that I did this and it looks so good. But I'm gonna make some overnight oats to have in the fridge. I'm gonna do almond milk. And then I bought some fruit yesterday. So we are going to wash this. And then obviously we have oats. You need mason jars. And I'm probably gonna add some ground flax and maybe chia seeds and some cinnamon.
just cut up all of the fruit, wash it, cut it up. I put it in a little container and I did the overnight oats. I actually just put them in the fridge, but I just added two scoops of oats and I'll show you guys how big the scooper is. I did two of these into a mason jar. I didn't measure anything. I kind of just eyeballed it. And then I also added eyeball of almond milk. I did like a shot of maple syrup and I added like about a teaspoon of ground flax and chia seeds. And then I did just like a lot of cinnamon and I used this vanilla milk almond milk, which is gonna make it have like a vanilla taste. Love this brand, only four ingredients and it's my favorite. So I'm gonna let these sit in the fridge for a few hours and then I'm gonna add the fruit on top. I didn't wanna add it in when the almond milk was still like very liquidy. I'm gonna wait until the oats soak it up a little, little bit and then I'm gonna add the fruit but at least I got it all cut up and I'm gonna just have a yogurt bowl I think for my breakfast I have this Coco June yogurt that I bought which I need to eat because I don't know when it goes bad <laughs> a few weeks and I'm gonna do some of this granola which I really like this brand no weird Oils, added sugar, oh fuck. Not me saying it has no weird oil and it has sunflower oil. I swear that this brand used to not use that. <sighs> Whatever. I'm gonna make a yogurt bowl. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna do a parfait this morning. I don't even know. I guess we're gonna start with granola on the bottom. I like this granola because it has like pieces of coconut in it. A tiny little bit of that. I hope that this is gonna be enough yogurt. These things are so small, these little individuals. So we're gonna do some yogurt. I might have to use, <laughs> This is going to be funny, but look, guys, literally, this is how much the whole thing's gone. And I've, like, basically not even filled it a lot. Okay, so we have the yogurt. I might do a little bit more granola. And then on top, we are gonna do some of the blueberries and strawberries. I cut up my strawberries like very, very small today and I just feel like they're so, it's so much more satisfying to eat them when they're tiny. I don't know why I hate like chomping on strawberries. Okay. Perfect. We have a little yogurt parfait. I just got done editing a video. I had like an hour of footage. It took me so long. I'm literally wearing, I'm calling Emma right now, but I'm wearing the clothes. Hi. Um, I was just calling to see if you want to get lunch. I just got lunch. Oh, never mind then. It's okay. What? Uh, I just got so scared because I was getting out of the parking garage door, like the elevators. Yeah? Well, have fun. Send me a picture of your hair. I took it. Look at Oh. Did you get it cut? No, it doesn't make sense to say that it's longer. Oh, it looks good. Okay, well, I gotta go. Bye. I just had to put on a little bit of concealer. Sorry. I was going to see if I wanted to get lunch with me, but she is... She already ate. Um, I am wearing literally my pajamas that I wore to bed last night. I 
but I need to go change and into normal clothes. I really like this concealer though. It's the Milk Makeup Concealer in the shade 8C. I did like a color match when I went to Sephora and they matched it literally to my skin. And I just like to use it for any like spot conceal. I'm literally only gonna do concealer today and no blush bronze or anything like that. I'm gonna go get my eyebrows done so I'm not even gonna do eyebrows. But I got a new concealer because I used to just take the concealer and like put it right on my breakouts like where i needed to cover and i saw so many tiktoks about how it was like so bad and makes your concealer fill with bacteria and then just like makes you get more breakouts so i've been taking a little bit and like putting it on the back of my hand and using the sephora collection 57 brush and then just doing it that way i just had deja vu also it was really weird but anyway okay Let's look at dress. I have to take off my boyfriend's clothes that I wore to bed last night. I feel like I swear when you wear clothes that just like aren't yours, they're so much more comfy than anything you own. Like I just can't explain it. Hey guys. You guys are literally <laughs> in my fridge right now. Um I got this package in the mail. I'm gonna open this package and then I'm gonna end this vlog off because I'm starting a new vlog, like a night vlog. And I'm gonna do night in my life because I'm really excited. Um, I have a lot that I'm doing tonight. Well, I'm not a lot, but I'm hanging out with Emma and we're cooking dinner and hanging out and stuff. So I just thought it'd be fun to vlog. Ooh, but I got a package after I got back from lunch. I saw that the UPS driver had left a note on my door and he was still parked like a little bit down my street and I start fucking running down the street to get him. And I'm like running after him being like, hey, hey. And I ooh, got a package, which I'm very excited about because I'm wearing one of the outfits tomorrow night when I go out to dinner with my manager. <laughs> She's coming to Boston. For the weekend because emma has a event i ordered from house of cb i've never i need to take you guys out of my fridge because i need to close close this i've never ordered anything i've never ordered anything from house of cb before so i'm really excited and i just have like an idea of wearing this outfit to dinner tomorrow night when my manager comes and I think we're gonna bring her to Lola and it's gonna be just like a fun weekend. Emma has an event, like a Pilates event, which that's gonna be like a whole separate vlog, like a weekend in my life. But I bought a few things from House of CB and I've never ordered from there before, so I was really excited. This shirt is stunning. It's like a green mesh with like rhinestones. I love that. And then I also got this shirt right here, which is a black silk top, but it has like a built-in bra underneath, like a white bra lace. That's really cute. And then this, I'm making a mess, is like the ultimate, ultimate what I wanted to wear. And I hope it fits me. I got a size small in the skirt. It's like a silk, I mean not silk, lace little black skirt and I got the top in size small also and it just looks like this and it's just a little top black matching with the lace super cute and I'm very excited to wear this stuff I'm like excited because I don't have a lot of like going out clothes for nighttime I have a lot of like basics and like daytime clothes, so I'm really excited to just have like a few fun pieces to wear like when I go out to dinner and stuff. But anyway, that's that. I'm gonna end off this vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram, all that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.